Well, while fire investigators continue searching for the cause of the fire that damaged the Coalition for the Homeless, many people in our community are offering help to house and feed hundreds of people. Right now, West News reporter Greg Fox shows us how the region's largest food provider is coming to the aid of those in need. Yeah, in a park. Mm -hmm. You're going to use uh, a beef stock? Yes, sir. Perfect. Israel right. Santiago is the chef instructor at Second Harvest Food Bank's catering arm, Plate Above. Right now, the team isn't focused on fundraising events. Instead, they're working to satisfy a genuine hunger need, feeding most of the 237 homeless men displaced from the Coalition for the Homeless by Wednesday's fire. While other agencies that serve the unsheltered are providing space to sleep, the kitchen that normally cooks for the shelter is out of commission, leaving Second Harvest to fill the void. Although I'm not on their shoes, they're probably going through a lot at this particular moment, and we want to make sure that we're there for them. We're going to go above and beyond when it comes to flavors to make sure that it's hot, make sure it's, it's nice, it's awesome, it's something, something that they deserve. Yeah, so we've got cornbread going. We're doing a chili mac, veggies and cornbread for dinner tonight. Dan Samuels says Second Harvest will continue cooking and delivering meals until the Coalition Kitchen is up and running again. Whether it's a hurricane or a global pandemic or a fire that has shut down somebody's facility in the community, we're ready to be able to step in and serve whatever their needs are until they're able to stabilize their operations. And that's exactly what we're able to do today for the coalition. This organization is certainly well equipped to help many people in need. I mean, just look around you and all the volunteers that are sorting food. They provide 300,000 meals a day across seven counties in central Florida. With the regular dining space at the coalition's men's shelter closed, Shiloh Baptist Church is opening its doors to provide temporary space. In Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News.